Hi everyone, Wanting Ideas. I'm partnering with a digital artist to create your ideas for Sea of Thieves. Be it a region, item or feature, we'll draw up and then compile them into a video. We'll be doing this periodically in a series, and if we don't manage to do your idea, then there's a good chance we'll do it in the next one. Get to guessing. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have finally gotten around to collaborating with a few incredible artists to design concepts for Sea of Thieves that you suggested about six months ago. The concepts started being drawn up but it just sort of got forgotten about and recently we've gone back and finished them. All of the artists featured in this video are really really talented people so please do go and check them out on their socials linked in the description and the pinned comment down below and why not check them a follow. If you do enjoy this video, please do leave a like, and I've spoken with one of the artists, if we reach, say, 300 likes, we'll do a part two. And don't worry, it won't take as long as last time. Yeah, I know that wasn't fun. So, do suggest your ideas down below on what you want to see. Alright, on with the first concept. They added the Foeman's sword, pistol, heck, even the blunderbuss, but Rare completely left out of the eye of reach. This would be one of the more bulky Eye of Reaches, but it would certainly keep in line with the classic Hippocampus theming of the Fairy of the Damned. Many details such as the scope chain to the Eye of Reach, or the Deadly Gun's front being the literal mythical seahorse, really tie things together nicely. It's been requested since launch, and here it is, the Skeleton Curse. Here we see exploration of four different stages of the curse, as you can see slowly rotting away at your pirates, starting off with the normal, then revealing sort of a little bit of the skull and the flesh going away, then half body half curse, and then full skeleton curse. Here we see different styles of the skeleton curse keeping in line with the theme of trading companies, the Merchant Alliance, Order of Souls, Reaper's Bones, Gold Hoarders, and Athena, as seen above right here. I suppose you could unlock it by participating in a special event, depending on what company you choose, could be a cool idea. Customization is at the heart of Sea of Thieves. After all, it's the only real progression, the only rewards you earn. You can't earn better cannons, for example. And jewelry is something that I've seen circulating quite a lot. And be it necklaces, rings, lockets, whatever, having a deeper customization for your pirate would be really cool. And as seen here, you can see loads of exploration of rings, lockets, necklaces, and stuff like that. All very, very cool indeed. Stitcher Jim got cursed pretty bad in Heart of Fire. But imagine if we could get that curse ourselves. We can get some form of the Ashen Curse, but imagine being able to turn not into a fully fledged Ashen Lord, but have, you know, one of your arms on fire, your face sort of transforming, and, you know, being well on your way to being a fiery giant that wreaks havoc across the Sea of Thieves. Quite a technically challenging curse to implement, but I think it would be amazingly cool nonetheless. Solar Luna the Plant King would absolutely love this next concept, and that's Plant Cosmetics. A set that the Sea of Thieves has never really explored is having a literal plant set. If you want to be a humble gardener, what's wrong with that? Or if you just want to study the botany of the Sea of Thieves, why not? I think it's fair to say that the Sunken Kingdom curse that's currently in game was a bit of a disappointment. The Curse of the Ocean Deep would absolutely rectify this. Ever wanted to become a part of Davy Jones' crew after a pirate's life? Well, now you can. In that classic Pirates of the Caribbean style, your character would become one with the ocean. Barnacles, tentacles, all that good stuff. Would be very interesting to see, although again, extremely technically challenging. These are some of my personal favourites, and something that again, I've seen the community request a lot, and that's customisable harpoons. Here you can see styles of the Dark Adventurers, Ghosts, and Legendary Harpoons if they were in-game. I can't express how realistic these are, I mean, you can see it right here, again, this is why they're my personal favourites, because they just, they look so accurate, they look so perfect to what they could be in-game. 
Here you can see some Bone Crusher and the Fearless Bone Crusher harpoons, keeping in line with the classic Bone Crusher theme with a skull on the end of the harpoon. It'd be really funny if they implemented these because then we'd have problems not only with the cannons being bulky, but then we'd have bulky harpoons. How funny would that be? If you've seen Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, then you'll be familiar with this one. A classic ghost curse, but not in the style that you'd expect, not in the style of being really ethereal. Sort of in a negative way. As I say, if you've seen Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, this is the curse of Salazar, which I'll put on the screen now. Pretty cool, right? If we had this in-game, I think people would be scared quite a lot if you approached them with this curse. Although we've recently got pocket pet crabs, have you ever wanted a crab that actually will follow you around just like Shelly, just like the dogs, cats, parrots, and monkeys in-game? Well, these crab concepts would be pretty awesome to implement. There are three different types, and then again keeping in line with the normal pets in the Pyre Emporium, there'd be three different styles. You've got the hermit crab that you can see two there, sort of small ones with tough outer shells. You've got the freshwater crab, which should have quite a wide surface area, and quite thin. And then you've got the pinter crab, which is your classic shelly crab. These would be, as I say, incredible if they implemented them, and I would love to see them come to the game. The Chain Shot, Blunderbomb, and Firebomb were all amazing additions to Sea of Thieves, so how about another projectile to join the roster? The Ice Bomb would be just as common as the predecessors that it had, and when thrown at a skeleton or a player, it would deal a small amount of damage and freeze them in place for about a second. When thrown at ships, it would deal damage to them, it would start with a small hole, and if that hole is not patched, it would slowly decay over time to be one massive hole, so you definitely want to keep an eye on ice affected areas. The Cursed Crewman Cutlass is a play on another Pirates of the Caribbean character. Crash from Davy Jones' Cruise Sword has, well, essentially a swordfish on it. It literally is a swordfish. This is a really cool design and it would be a Pirate Emporium item as per all Pirates of the Caribbean stuff, but all the same, it would look pretty awesome if you started attacking someone with a literal swordfish. When thinking about pirates, something that I believe everyone thinks about is ropes. Pirates swinging from ship to ship in mid-air combat. And that's just not something that we can do in Sea of Thieves currently. I can imagine that would be very technically challenging. But what if we could grab the ropes on our boat, or grab onto the rope of the harpoon once it's attached to a boat, and crawl along it and swing to other boats? It would be really, really awesome. There would be some sick plays that you could do with it. We'd certainly need balancing, but it's just an idea after all. A new sea creature in Sea of Thieves is something that is desperately needed. The Leviathan of the Ocean Deep is essentially a sea dragon being added to Sea of Thieves. A snake-like creature that would swim around in the ocean and have a lot of unique attacks. I've talked about this creature in a previous video, but here it is visualised. Enjoy, it would be a very, very interesting mob to fight. And there we go, I think that just about wraps up all the concepts we currently have. As I say, please do go check out all of the artists, they worked incredibly hard on this and check them out for on social media. And if we hit 300 likes, then we'll definitely do a part 2, so leave your suggestions down in the comments below. Obviously we can't draw every single one of them, because there's going to be a lot, but we'll do the best ones and the ones with the most likes. So if you see a suggestion you think is cool, give it a like, and it's more likely to be drawn up. But anyways, apart from that, thank you for watching, and you know, do consider subscribing if you did enjoy. But apart from all that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.